You know, we all had a lot of fun recently with some diss tracks being thrown around. You might be wondering to yourself what the earliest diss track was. And the answer is probably since the invention of music, we've been making those. But a really famous early one was probably between James Brown and a singer named Joe Tex. Now, both these men were initially label mates. And according to members, there was already some hostility. The story goes that Brown challenged Tex to a dance competition and Tex just left. Now, Joe Tex had a song called Baby You're Right, and James Brown did a cover of it. He also rewrote some of it, so that gave him co-song writing credits. He used James Brown of stealing his dance moves. Apparently, the mic kick thing Brown did was a Tex move. Then it gets really saucy. James Brown seduced Joe Tex's wife and recorded a song together called You've Got the Power. Then allegedly, James sent a letter to Joe saying that he was done with her, and Joe can have her back. Yeah. Yeah, jeez. Then Joe releases, you can keep her. Where in the first line he says, James, I got your letter, and you can keep her. He was seeing somebody new at this point. Then it gets a little bit more complicated, because apparently Joe was a bit of a comedian. Then the issue escalates. Apparently Joe was a bit of a comedian and started to make fun of James Brown directly in his act. bit where he came out in old cape and imitated James Brown getting on the floor, and then he would roll around saying, help, help, I've been trapped in this cape. He did that in front of James. And James d did not take it well, I, I would say, because he left the club and returned with a bunch of shotguns and shot up the place. Now, the story diverges here, depending on who you ask, and I have no idea who's lying and who's telling the truth. Now, either Joe immediately ran out when he saw the guns, or he had left. Nobody knows for certain. Now, the story goes that Brown paid off everybody in the club, and was swept under the rug. Well, the story from Mike Judge's really excellent Tales from the Tour Bus. If you really like these sorts of stories, you really should go check it out. First season follows country and the second season follows funk. I rewatch them all the time. Until iTunes took them off of my purchased TV shows. I bought the first two seasons of that and I can't find them anywhere. Anyways, uh, I want to refund iTunes, but who do you guys think ended up winning this feud? I will say this, you can keep her pretty decent single.